me and welcome to this month's new backdrop. So this backdrop both grosses me out and fascinates me at the same time. I love it and hate it. It's this giant moon covered in butterflies and moths and other like bugs. I think it's so gorgeous. It's just I am afraid of bugs. So is it weird that this is one of my favorites but it also creeps me out? That's not weird, right? I mean, I just love anything to do with moons. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the moon does have a face. So it has a closed eye right there. Hold on, I need to move out of the way. Another closed eye here. And the mouth, let me move this. Can you see her mouth? <laughs> so I'm sitting in front of her face. So yeah, it's gorgeous, but it gives me the heebie-jeebies. So because we have a new backdrop, that means I have to announce the winner from last month. The contest was to follow me on my new merch Instagram and send me your favorite season. And the winner is Izzy and she told me that her favorite season is fall which girl same here so thank you to everyone who entered to win last month's backdrop so if you want to win this month's new very strange moon bug backdrop all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel so my Jesse B channel turn on your notification bell and I'm gonna make the last part of this contest super super easy basically I have made one more new Instagram I know you're probably like Jesse how many Instagrams do you need I am starting a handmade jewelry line. The jewelry is gonna be custom, all made by me. And I wanted it to have a separate Instagram because my merch Instagram is totally different. We have everything made in factories. We partner with different brands, but my handmade jewelry is gonna be all me, all made by hand. So that Instagram account is called The Whimsy Wonders. So all you have to do is go follow that account. You don't have to DM, you don't have to do anything else. Just go there and follow it and you're automatically entered to win this backdrop behind me. So yes, now I have four different Instagram accounts, but that's it, that's all I'm gonna have. All right guys, so let's jump right into this video. It is about a very creepy mannequin named La Pasqualita. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not pronouncing it right, I'm so sorry, forgive me. I remember in my Chuck E. Cheese video, I accidentally said Foz Bar's restaurant, and that wasn't correct. <laughs> Local legend says that a mannequin named La Pasqualita is is actually the preserved body of the original shop owner's daughter who died tragically on her wedding day. So basically people speculate that this creepy mannequin in the store's window is not actually just a mannequin but a real human being. So let's talk about the actual store that this mannequin resides in. La Pascualita first appeared in the window of a bridal store in Mexico in 1930. The locals were supposedly immediately struck by the mannequin's lifelike appearance. I mean, her face is so unbelievably detailed. She's super expressive. She has real looking eyelashes. Her eyes are glassy and shiny like real human eyes. Her hands have a crazy amount of detail in them. And apparently if you look at the mannequin's legs, you can literally see veins in her legs. Are you joking me? If you think about it, most stores in the world have blank white mannequins that dominate shopping malls and whose only purpose is to show off the clothes they are dressed in. So when people pass by this store and see this mannequin, her wedding dress is like the second thing on their mind. They barely even notice the wedding dress. The only thing they can concentrate on is how detailed this mannequin looks. So the whole conspiracy here is that this mannequin actually used to be a living person. So let's get into the backstory about that. People say this mannequin bears a close resemblance to the daughter of the shop owner. Her name was Pasquala Esparza. According to the story, the daughter was preparing to be married when she was tragically bitten by a black widow spider and succumbed to its poison on her wedding day. And it wasn't long after her death that the mannequin appeared in the shop window. And that's where this whole legend began, that maybe it's not actually a mannequin. Maybe it's actually the preserved body of this unlucky bride-to-be. So maybe this shop owner lost their daughter and was just so heartbroken that they wanted to keep her still in the family, in the store window. Over the years, customers have claimed that La Pasqualita's eyes follow them as they walk around the store. Some people have even said they've been walking by the window and turned to look at her and she's in a completely different pose or position.
position. Her presence in the store has even spooked tons of staff members that have worked there. There's this one quote from a staff member that literally says, every time I go near Pasqualita, my hands break out in a sweat. Her hands are very realistic and she even has varicose veins in her legs. I believe she is a real person. So even the actual staff members believe she is a real person. Now, there are other legends that believe that she actually is just a mannequin, but she's a haunted mannequin. According to this version of the story, a visiting French magician became so entranced by the bridal mannequin that he would visit her window each night and bring her to life, dancing with her and bringing her around the town before returning her back to the storefront each morning. So yeah, this legend is very strange about this magician that basically fell in love with this mannequin and brought her to life. Whatever her true origins are, La, La Pasqualita has become a local legend in her own right over the decades. Now, a lot of people say, no, this legend can't be true, because if this mannequin was actually a real human, how would it have remained intact over the past decades and decades? It would definitely degrade and fall apart over time, just like natural humans would after they pass away. Now, news companies have gone to the store owner to ask the actual owner, hey, is this real or is it just a mannequin? And his actual response said, is it true? I really couldn't say. So the store owner isn't even saying if it is true or if it's not true, but I think he's only doing that for the appeal of this local legend. I mean, it brings so many people to his store. Why would he say it's fake, right? Please comment down below if you've ever seen this mannequin in person and what you think about it. Now, before we end this video, I do want to talk about another haunted mannequin that resides in Florida. It's actually in a store called Dillard's. Staff working at a Dillard's in Florida say that there's a possessed mannequin in the junior's department. This particular mannequin stands near the front of the department by one of the main entrances, and they use it to display dresses and gowns, but staff say it always seems like it's watching them. There was this one night when the store was closing, and a staff member was just organizing a bunch of the clothing racks, when suddenly they heard this loud scraping on the ground. They say it almost sounded like something was being dragged across the floor. And when they turned around, they saw that this mannequin was facing away from the entrance of the door instead of towards it like they had placed it. So this mannequin had somehow moved on its own. So maybe the dragging she heard was actually the mannequin moving itself across the floor. A few weeks later, the staff came for a morning shift and found the mannequin in one of the dressing rooms where it was never supposed to be. And another time, a staff member was walking by the mannequin when it heard a hissing sound say, Leave. And this staff member swears the mannequin turned its head and looked at her and literally said, leave in a hissing voice. There was a time a customer was checking the tag on the mannequin for the dress it was wearing. And as soon as she touched the tag, she got this shock through her whole body that came directly from the mannequin. And the last thing and probably the creepiest thing that happened is that one day a customer was walking through the store and accidentally lost the locket she was wearing around her neck. And and this locket was very precious to her because apparently her dad had given it to her before he passed away. So she had this photo of her and her dad in the locket. Well, she lost it at some point when she was in the store and she told the staff members. They looked all around the store and couldn't find it anywhere. They even looked more after hours when everyone had left the store and could not find this necklace. Now, a few days went by and one evening the staff walked by this mannequin and saw the locket around its neck. And when they took the necklace off and looked inside the locket, the picture of this girl and her dad was gone. So they were able to return the locket to this girl, but they couldn't find the picture. That is so creepy to me. So the staff can't figure out why of all things in the world, a mannequin would be possessed. Like that's so random. But anyways, those are the two mannequins I wanted to talk about today. If you have any more creepy mannequin stories, definitely comment that down below. And yeah, if you would like to win this background behind me, don't forget to follow my fourth Instagram account called The Whimsy Wonders. And yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!